The city of Denver has been making an example of property owners who abuse their Airbnb privileges. That strategy may be working. More than 100 people have waved the white flag and surrendered their licenses since owners were put on notice. As Denver 7's Russell Haythorn shows us, the city's tactics are among the most aggressive in the country. Uh, it, it had to start somewhere. George Mail says his neighbors up and moved one day. The next people were coming in like a like a saloon. The house next door had become an Airbnb short term rental property and it took him a year and a half to shut it down. I, I took uh, photos of uh, every license plate with the, that current day's paper with it. Ever since then, Mail has been leading the fight with regard to short-term rentals in Denver. Denver rules say in order to offer your home for one or multiple nights, it must be your primary residence. The city defines that as the place you usually return to and the address listed on your vehicle registration. We know that the primary residence rule helps protect Denver, helps protect the fabric of our communities, and also helps ensure that we maintain a housing stock of affordable units it's for our long-term residents. Now, Denver is taking enforcement efforts a step further. It's taken 648 complaints since 2018, so it recently started sending affidavits with the threat of felony charges to those offering short-term rentals at homes that aren't primary residences. As a result, there's been a flood of people turning in their licenses. And we have had well over 200 people uh, decide to give up their license or withdraw their application rather than commit perjury. The enforcement technique is thought to be a first of its kind in the country, but it's drawing criticism. Attorney Dan Recht says Denver is literally the only place in the whole country that is taking this draconian felony approach. The affidavits are vague, ambiguous, and generally poorly drafted. The city disagrees. The primary residence rule is not at all ambiguous. That affidavit is just a, a last chance, a last opportunity for people to come clean. It was a long time coming. Mail believes it's the right move, and he says Airbnb should do more to delist any host that is non-compliant. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.